Okay, so this little pin here is different than uh, on other 997s apparently from the videos I've seen. In other ones, it's just a straight pin with a cotter pin holding it in. Um, this here has a, uh, a 13 millimeter hex bolt on the back, which by the way torques to 23 newton meters. So you got to undo that and then you need to slide the pin out uh, toward the front. But it's difficult because as you can see, it has this narrow section in the middle and then it's wider at the two ends and the spring clip likes to bind on that uh, that change there. So in theory, you push this down and then slide this through, but it's very difficult. I mean, maybe if you had a friend, one person could use two hands pushing this down, the other could be pulling this out or tapping it out, but uh, even so, I think it'd be difficult. So what I ended up doing was I unscrewed the bolt a few turns, just enough so it's poking out a little bit, but it's still firmly in there, and then uh, used the, the rubber mallet, just give it a few taps on the back, just to pop this, uh, oh, focus, just to pop this out uh, past the edge here, uh, to where I could get pliers on it. Um, then once I got to that point, I uh, used this, um, this is just a 3 8 inch socket extension, which fits really nicely through here. So put that through there, I take the, the bolt out obviously, put that through there, and then rubber mallet again, you can just tap on that from behind to move this pin forward. Problem is, once it clears the edge of the caliper here, um, the spring wants to push it out this way, so the uh, the pin's at an angle, and then it doesn't want to slide because it's a, a very tight fit through here, so it really needs to be going straight to get it out. But I found it almost impossible to hold this spring back firmly enough to keep this straight, while at the same time sort of twisting and pulling at it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very difficult. So. Two things helped. Uh, one is I used a little bit of silicon lube and just lubed up uh, where it slides along the spring here, as well as uh, where it tries to go through the hole um, over there. And then essentially what I did was grabbed onto it from this end uh, with some, some channel locks. And then as I'm pulling with those, I just tapped on it here with the edge of the, uh, the rubber mallet. And basically each tap would just momentarily straighten that out and then as you're pulling on this end, it would just slightly move with each tap until uh, basically it got out far enough that the spring wasn't, uh, wasn't a problem anymore. Then putting it back in is basically the same process in reverse. It goes through the first part easy enough, and then you can sort of push the spring down and get it on top of the spring, but uh, the further you get it in, the more difficult it becomes um, because it's, uh, it's gonna be at an angle again. So same thing, um, I was able to do a little bit by, by tapping it from this side, but eventually it just bound up on the spring. Um, so then I used the same approach, um, <clears throat> just pushing, just pushed with my thumb from this side and just gave it little taps with the mallet on there to straighten it out. And uh, with each tap, it would go in a little bit further. Um, another thing is just to make sure that the spring stays centered here, that uh, as, you, as you're pushing it one way or the other, the spring can uh, push up against one side of the caliper. So if it does, you can just take your this or whatever you want, put it up against there and just give it a couple little taps. Really light taps is enough with the, uh, the mallet and it, uh, it'll slide back into place. Um, oh, one other thing by the way while I'm here. If your rotor's been on for any decent amount of time, these little pin screws are gonna be almost impossible to get out. Uh, you'll wanna use an impact screwdriver and you'll probably wanna replace those. These are the original ones here, but I'm, uh, they're just in loosely while I'm waiting for the other ones. They're like 75 cents each from uh, Pelican Parts.